Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV. Just a couple uh, boondocking tips for you to do with water. First is I have a gravity fill fresh water tank. So I found an easy way to add water to my tank. My tank is 60 gallons, um, but I have 120 gallons worth of uh, waste tanks. I have a shower and a galley and a black tank. So when my fresh starts to get empty, I can use this method to add water. Now I do have a uh, water bladder and I can use an electric pump to put that in. But it's kind of a hassle to go and, and fill up the bladder, bring it around here. Um, I'm in a campsite right now where I'm way at the back so I'd have to have a long hose and everything. But this campground has a water spigot only about maybe 100 feet away. So I fill up this, this jug here, six and a half gallon jug, and I use this siphon which I showed in another video for actually um, getting gas out of my generator. I also got gas out of Ann's boat tank with it, old gas. So it's it's got a little uh, ball in there and you just wiggle it up and down and it starts the siphon. You know, I could use my mouth, but this is very, I found this very convenient. So I bought a second one just for this fresh water application. So I'll show you how quick and easy it is. Stick that in the bottom of the jug, that in there. And there we go, the siphon has started. He's draining. It'll take under two minutes to drain that uh, six and a half gallon jug. You can hear it rattling in there, that means it's really sucking good. So I just need to get enough height. So I use my ladder here to get it above the the tank so the siphon can work really well. There she goes. All done, quick and easy. So that's my fill tip and that'll help extend our time before we have to go dump and fill. Next one is inside the rig and it has to do with my hot water tank. Go in and I'll show you. So here's my six gallon water tank and what I've done is I've taken this uh, temp minder which actually is made for uh, checking uh, your temperature inside your fridge but I've repurposed it for the water tank and you can see I made a little hole in the styrofoam and I've placed the probe inside there. So the probe sits in there against the, the metal tank and it gives me a rough indication of what the temperature of the water is. So right now it's showing 77 Fahrenheit. It's been off all night and uh, I'll fire it up and we'll, we'll see that it'll go to about 130 which is what the, the thermostat for the water heater is set at. Um, the benefit is, of this is with a quick glance we know exactly what the temperature of the, the water is in our tank. We don't have to like run a tap and you end up wasting a bunch of water running a tap because it comes out cold until finally the, the hot comes out. Also I found what I can do is I can figure out the nice temperature for my shower and I can have a shower by just turning the hot tap on. Um, turn the hot tap on I know the water is going to come out the right temperature and then I can actually turn the, the hot tap off um, like rent, get, get soaped up and when I turn it back on I don't get that that instant uh, kind of burst of cold water because the cold water isn't mixing with the hot water it's coming directly out of the tank. So when we're boondocking I just plug it in have it sitting down there just into the corner out of the way on the stairs where we can see it. So let me turn on the gas on the tank. We'll fire it up and then we'll uh, let you see it once it's heated up. I gotta do dishes anyway. So it's been uh, heating for about five minutes or so and you can see it come up to 99 Fahrenheit. The other numbers on there, the 62.2 uh, is the temperature where the this thermometer is. It's got an inside and outside temperature and the 53% is the humidity in here. So there we go. I just heard the water 
heater click off, stop the, the gas and burn going on. And we're right at 129.6 there, so that's uh, right around what it should be with the 130 Fahrenheit uh, thermostat that it has in there. Anyway, I hope you found these tips useful. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, everyone. Happy boondocking.